I guess I get to um, say a few words before Alex comes up. Hey, I'm Allison Gray. It's so great to be here. We want to just, uh, I just wanted to thank you personally and from Alex too that uh, it's so wonderful. This is our third time in Portland to have a, a huge event. We, I just realized and heard that Elliot Resnick, the producer of this event, who we love, don't we? And we credit with the wondrousness of his gatherings that he's able to do. We, Cosmo Party was the first party he ever did. I didn't realize that. And at that party, we said to the community that if Portland could help us to get to collect together to earn $11,000 for COSM, that we would attribute that those funds towards create the creation of the angels that go between the sacred years. Very important elements in the chapel and the physical you know, beauty and, and the way it makes you feel when you go in there, that just that awesome space that it was with those angels. And that's exactly how much we raised at that party, $11,000. And we, and we always graciously acknowledge the Portland community for helping us to raise that money. So when you come and visit us at Cosmo over there in the Hudson Valley sometime, you'll, you'll see the angels and you'll, you'll feel a sense of ownership because it was because of you guys that we were able to do that. Now the second time that we had a party in Portland, we said, okay, this the funds that we raised at this party we're going to put them towards the gates, the incredible angel gates that you will see tonight in the slide talk, right, Alex? Yes. So anyway, the angel gates, and I'm just very excited for you to see them. And uh, so tonight, I wanted to make, I always just, I just love making the attention thing, you know, we all, it, it just gets you so much, you know, further if you could set the intention and then claim it to the community, you know what I mean? Because then, you know, you get the whole power of the energy of the community behind you with this intention. And so, the, so our intention for tonight is that whatever proceeds, and the proceeds that go to COSM are attributed to you guys for supporting us and coming out tonight. And there's so many places that you could go and you're here, so. We are, we are so honored to have your support. And that support all goes to COSM, every cent. And this time around, it's to build the eschaton. The eschaton is a word that Alex brought into our being. And it means, and I love the way he defines it, he says, it is an event over which you do not get. <laughs> That's Alex. So I'm good. But anyway, so the Eschaton is going to be the exhibition that we're going to build on the land in the Hudson Valley. You'll see some pictures of it tonight. And so that's where the that's where the funds go to when you come out to support Cosm and, and to see and say hello to Alex and I. So I am very honored. I'm very excited. I'm very thrilled to be here, and I'm also very honored to be the person that gets to uh, introduce my best friend and the person that I can sit, the best person to say goodnight to me every night and say good morning every morning. Yeah. 
<laughs> I want to give a special shout out to Jonathan Singer uh, tonight because he works his tail off. Uh, he's a he's the video artist, the video artist that is going to melt your minds later tonight. And perhaps you've seen his work, but uh, he uh, kind of returns the visionary uh, paintings uh, that I've done back to their visionary source, you know, by animating them and making them, uh, you know, open up and breathe and do very strange things. So, uh, but Jonathan uh, is really a visionary artist in his own right, and so I feel uh, Allison and I have collaborated with him for a number of years, and, uh, and he solved a technical question here that was a matter of his uh, perseverance for making it uh, um, uh, a better experience for all of us. So thank you, Jonathan. Uh, anthropocosm. Uh, anthropocosm, uh, basically, you know, anything that we know of the cosmos, and, the, and just like what I mentioned there, the, the infinitely small, the infinitely large, uh, all of that is contained in our consciousness, you know? So we contain the cosmos within any of it that we understand. You know, it's, uh, so, let's see, this says, we embody within us as human beings all the laws and principles that operate within the greater divine cosmos that sustains and embraces us. And our intelligence, correctly deployed, gives us access to the knowledge of all there is. Acquisition of that knowledge holds the promise of eternal life, immortality, and entry into the higher consciousness responsible for our being here. So, uh, why, uh, is that a bone skin? <laughs> is that a spider web? Is that a back cave? <laughs> that is the, uh, one of the, uh, uh, largest, uh, conglomerations of all known galaxies. Uh, so it's one of the largest views of the cosmos that exists. Uh, so the points of light that are measured there are clusters of galaxies. Right? So it's really huge. But what's fascinating uh, is that it's that, that is ourselves. So there is this uh, thread-like, web-like interconnectedness, this interweaving from the interstellar to the microcosmic. Um, and uh, this is the cytoskeletal structure that is the uh, sort of uh, tracery of life force, uh, protein bridges that energetically uh, you know, kind of like those uh, electric balls, you know, that kind of like, you know, because our cells are batteries, you know, like they've got the, uh, the, the positive and negative, uh, the cytoplasm uh, and, the, and the nucleus are, are polar opposites, so they're a battery sending out this electrical charge. You know, we're luminous beings, and we come from this, you know, swirling, awesome, uh, Milky Way galaxy that we're part of. And we didn't know that, you know, except for like 150 years ago or something, you know, like we, we had ideas about the backbone of the night, but we had no idea that we were living in a spiral, you know, a whirlpool of uh, brilliance. And uh, we, we, our God was the sun. The sun is embedded in that swirl, but it was the luminous uh, source of everything. This is our, uh, I guess, is it daddy or mommy or maybe it's both? It's like this is our source. We were plopped out, evidently, from this uh, gas cloud that, that this thing ultimately was, but some chunks of it and, and it kind of conglomed into these planets that 4.8 or 
or so billion years ago, there was a scum of, of green, you know, uh, and, and uh, okay, so it was, uh, <laughs> it happened here. And this was uh, the divine, oh, you know, it's the circle, it's the sphere, it's the uh, number one cosmic sacred geometric shape, the perfect circle. It's the perfect symbol of God. God is a circle whose, whose circumference is boundless and whose center is everywhere. So we are used to looking at these shapes in the sky and we identify with them, the solar, the lunar forces. Uh, they, they rule our worlds. And, of course, we are looking through this kind of same kind of circular thing. We're seeing the universe through a universe within. And so the identification of uh, God with light, with the sun, was as ancient as uh, all the most ancient human civilizations. Here's Ankhna. 